Hey guys, Sherm here, and today I'm going to be telling you about everything new in the Grand Prix update to Asphalt 9. The big news is a new game mode and a new kind of special event called the Grand Prix, which will have the Tech Rules 1896, and I will make an entire video about that specifically when it comes out. But basically, it is going to be a more skill-based event against other players with qualification rounds and final rounds to get the car and other rewards. Again, I will make a video all about that when it comes out. But we've got two fully new cars in the update, the Lotus Avia and the Honda Civic Type. Are. So let's take a look at the stats of all of these new cars. First of all, we have the D-Class Honda Civic Type R. It is an updated version compared to the one in Asphalt 8. There is currently an event going on for it where you can drive this car at max. It is a fairly agile car, but only with a top speed of 185 miles per hour at max, so I doubt it will be any new king. And probably the closest car to it is the Janetta, which has a few miles per hour higher top speed, but the Civic has much better acceleration, so I can imagine those two cars will be pretty equally pitted on tracks like the Caribbean and Osaka. However, the Civic's drifting is not especially amazing, so you'll have to keep that in mind. Now we're moving on to a B-Class car, the Lotus Sevilla, and this car was added to Asphalt 8 recently as well. At max, this car feels very well-rounded with a bit less agility than a car like the Huracan, but a much higher top speed of 238 miles per hour. I suspect that this car will become the new B-Class king on most tracks. With both multiplayer seasons ending in less than 24 hours, it seems reasonable to expect that the a Via special event will start directly after that, with the Tech Rules 1896 event starting a bit later in February. According to Dennis, it will overlap the Avia event a bit. If the Avia event does come out when I'm expecting it to, I plan to make a live stream about it this Saturday. So now for the poster car of the update, the Tech Rules 1896 track version, which is a high-end A-class car. It goes 235 miles per hour at max, which isn't the best for A-class, but is still pretty good. However, its acceleration is the best in A-class and the third best in the game, only behind the Rimac and Batista, at least by the car stat. It feels like a pretty agile car, and its nitro is decent as well. Some more tests will have to be run to see whether this car is a new A-Class King or not, but I'd say it is very high up there. I definitely look forward to this car's special event, and I will quite likely make another live stream about it when it comes out too, as well as that video. But of course, we'll have to wait and see how it goes. Now, there are many other changes that were introduced in this update as well. Asphalt 9 is now playable on Apple computers. The blueprint rewards in the multiplayer season have been changed, for example with the Shelby drops being replaced with target drops. Ticket costs have been reduced for most of the daily events, and there is a new game mode called Ghost which will be used in the Grand Prix special event, and it pretty much is what it sounds like, you can race another player's ghost. Some daily events can be locked behind garage level now, and cars in the garage no longer have their headlights on. You can find a full list of all the changes on the Asphalt 9 wiki. So guys, thank you all for watching, please like the video if you have enjoyed, and consider subscribing for more Asphalt 9 and other games content. And I will see you in my next video. Goodbye.